Welcome to my city. A grand old city with a grand old past. 130 years ago I was born here. In this house here. They've been celebrating me ever since. Why? I'm not absolutely sure. It could have something to do with me writing a few old stories that folk have been puzzling over ever since I penned them. It's always been about the city, my city, Prague. They've been exporting me and my reputation ever since I died here. And the exhibition about me and my city has traveled the world in search of an audience, even across the Atlantic to America. We opened in Barcelona in 1999, then transferred to the Jewish Museum in New York between 2002 and 2003. Then we came back to Europe, back to my city, Prague, in 2005. So, who am I? Well, I was born in Prague, on 3rd of July 1883 and named France. Apparently, I've become the world renowned as one of the most influential surrealist writers in the 20th century and representative of the Prague German literature. But I've always regarded my writing as my main purpose in life and found it hard to reconcile it with my day-to-day -day work in the office, which I've always performed most conscientiously. So how does this city affect my life? Well, in my writings I became concerned with the feelings and forces of nationalism, liberalism, anti-Semitism, industrialism and the cultivation of Nazi movement. As it reflected the ongoing events within my own life, it was a turbulent time and I found myself right in the thick of it. This picture was taken eight months before he died of tuberculosis. How would you look? <laughs> really and truly. Come on. Now, and poor Kafka, to be fair to him, didn't realise this picture was going to be used after he died. Many people believe that my novels describe famous attractions in Prague, such as the astronomical clock centred in the old town square and the Charles Bridge. It's all about change. My outlook on Prague was like a metamorphosizing power in which I steadily dosed my secrets and with which I'm able to contribute myths and obscure mysterious magic that I've captured throughout my life here.